Now I want to show you how you can use OpenSSL for Windows to create a .p12 certificate file from the existing developer certificate that you downloaded from Apple. And what we will do is I'm going to go into the bin folder of the OpenSSL installation, which is on, for me, it's on my C drive. And I've copied the developer underscore identity dot CER file, which I had downloaded from Apple. So now I need to go to a command prompt. And to do that, we'll go to start, choose run, type CMD, and then click OK. And now we're in a command prompt. Now I need to navigate to the folder. So I'm going to go to the open SSL folder and then go to the bin folder. Now at this point, we're going to do a couple of things. One, we need to generate a uh, .pem file. And what this does is it allows us to use the private key and combined with the developer certificate to create a .p12 file. So we're going to type open SSL space x509 space hyphen in space, and this is the name of the certificate, so developer underscore identity dot CER space hyphen inform space capital D capital E capital R space hyphen out space and the name that we're going to call this is developer underscore identity dot PEM and then a space and then a hyphen out form space and then a capital P capital E capital M go ahead and press return and if we go over to our folder you'll see that we've now created this dot PEM file so now we have everything we need to create the dot P12 certificate go ahead and type open oops let me move my mouse open SSL space PKCS12 space hyphen export space hyphen in key space and this is the name of the private key that we've created previously my key dot key space and then hyphen in space and this is the PEM file developer underscore identity dot c e oops sorry p e m space hyphen out space iphone dev and this is a name p12 this is an arbitrary name you can name it whatever you'd like but i'll just call it iphone dev go ahead and press return now it wants to enter an export password. Now what this is, is with every P12 file, you have a, an associated password in order to sign the application in Flash CS5. So we're going to create a password and it can be whatever you'd like, any number or letter combination. And so now I've entered it again. Fluffy bunny. Okay, here we go. Now, if we look up here, we now have a iPhone underscore dev dot p12 file. With this dot p12 file, you can now create and sign your applications in Flash CS5. You just need to remember the password that you created as, that's associated with this dot p12 certificate.